Yesterday I showed you a way to prevent the accidental pressing and activating of Bixby using the dedicated Bixby button. Now on the Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus they had a software feature that actually let you disable the button completely. That has been removed in the current software on the Galaxy Note 9. And I think Samsung did that because the main complaint of the Bixby button was the accidental presses. People were accidentally pressing that button, thinking it was the power button, and then it would launch the Bixby service. So as a way to solve that main complaint, instead of actually letting you disable the button, they changed it to where you can set it to only activate on a double press. This is going that that solution is gonna be fine for a lot of people. To be honest, I mean again, a lot of the people only disliked it because of the accidental presses. It's still a de dedicated button that if you don't use Bixby is virtually useless for you. But for those who do use Bixby, a lot of them just complained about the accidental presses. Now for some that's not going to be enough and you want to actually disable the button completely. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today on the Galaxy Note 9 with a free third party application called BX Actions. Once you have this BX Actions application installed, we're just going to open it up. Tap next. We need to allow BX Actions some usage. just so that it can do its thing in the background. And now it's going to ask you to please open up Bixby and complete the initial setup. Otherwise some features in BX Actions may not work correctly. So by default, it's going to, with BX Actions and installed, it's actually going to activate Google Assistant. However, we can go into the BX Actions application, tap on the Bixby button, tap on the Google Assistant single press, Now we have a lot of options to go through here. And for those of us that just want to disable this button completely, again, so that nothing happens whenever we press that button, all we have to do is scroll all the way up, and we're going to see this Bixby disabled button right there. Go ahead and select that. We can go back you can see that the single press is disabled press home to go back to the home screen so now whenever we press the Bixby button nothing happens now it is actually going to flash just because that's how this application works what Bix Ac BX Actions does is it detects when that button is pressed and Bixby is launched and then it will close it and do something else whether that is 
opening up Google Assistant, bringing down your notifications, opening up other applications, whatever it is. So again, I will agree that having the button press make the screen flash can be annoying for some people. However, combined with the tutorial from yesterday, you can either have it set to where the one button press does nothing, so there's no more accidental presses that launches Bixby, or you can use the BX Actions application to completely disable Bixby and the Bixby button on the Galaxy Note 9 if that's your choice.